Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. In this week's video, we'll share some updates around the seal of bioliteracy, MCAS results in an upcoming arts event in the community, and also give shout outs to some RMHS students both for both their achievement inside the classroom and on the athletic field. And to start, uh, in terms of the seal of bioliteracy, we are thrilled to share that for the first time, the Reading Public Schools will participate in Massachusetts seal of bioliteracy program. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the program, uh, it, it awards students and recognizes students who demonstrate proficiency in more than one language. Uh, so this year, all of our 8th grade and 11th grade students will have the opportunity to take the qualifying test free of charge. And also, these, uh, any students in other grades are able to take this uh, test as well to qualify for the seal of biliteracy. Those who receive the seal of biliteracy uh, will receive an affixed seal on their diploma when it's time to graduate, um, as well as regalia for graduation and an opportunity to earn college credits. Um, so we think this is a really exciting opportunity for our community. So a little bit about the seal of bioliteracy. So as you'll see here, there's a link on the written newsletter to uh, some more information about the program. But I'd like to highlight the aims of the program are to encourage students to master uh, study and master languages, certify attainment of bioliteracy skills, recognize the value of language diversity, provide employers with a way to uh, identify students uh, with both language and bioliteracy skills, it's a way to provide universities with a method to recognize and give credits to students who demonstrate uh, attainment of high-level skills and languages. It also helps prepare students with skills that will benefit them in the labor market and uh, especially in a global society. And then lastly, it strengthens intergroup communication and honors the multiple cultures and languages in a community. A special shout out to RMHS teacher Derek Ryan for his leadership in helping us to get this off the ground and running in our Reading community. Shifting gears to uh, MCAS, so as you may know, DESE released MCAS scores this past week. Uh, you can find both district and school level MCAS data on DESE's website. Also during the week of October 10th, we will be mailing home the individual student reports, which will give student level uh, results. At the upcoming school committee meeting on October 6th, our administration will walk through an overview of the district results, and then we'll follow up and provide a summary video through one of these video updates uh, for those who are not able to make or watch the school committee meeting. And then lastly, around updates, you see here a flyer for the Task Party and Discovery, the Discover the Arts Day. Mark your calendars for Saturday, October 15th. Discover the Arts Day is a free family event designed to bring the community together to learn about local fine arts opportunities and enjoy activities for all ages, including face painting, balloon animals, live music, and Reading's first ever community task party hosted by some of our very own RPS staff members. Don't miss the fun at this drop-in event where attendees join the creative fun as they select a task from the task pool and then interpret and complete their task in any way they see fit using the materials or participants, as the case may be, available to them at the party. The task party is designed to bring the community together to have fun, stretch themselves creatively, and to enjoy our shared need to create and connect. So be sure to stop by, and again, uh, that flyer has more information. I'd like to transition to shout-outs. First, for some tremendous accomplishments inside the classroom, we'd like to recognize some National Merit Scholars. So congratulations to Althea Kulaba, Brennan Manning, Luca Moran, Liam Sennett, and Michelle Walsh, who were recently named National Merit Commended Students, and to Abigail Libovich, who was named as a National Merit Semifinalist. So if you're not familiar with these awards, uh, these students receive some of the top uh, scores on the PSATs nationwide, and I included a link in the written newsletter that shows some of the criteria and qualifications, but a tremendous academic accomplishment, so congratulations to all of those students. And then last but not least, also like to give a uh, shout out to Robbie Granara, a senior at RMHS, who was recently named as a lacrosse All-American. Uh, this re represents, as you all know, a tremendous accomplishments out on the athletic field uh, and for Robbie's participation during the 21-22 athletic season. So congratulations to Robbie and to his family. We hope that you all had a wonderful week. Have a great weekend. Go Rockets.